Yo, what up? Welcome back to another episode. Wait. This sh is not right. Yeah. Yeah, this is right. Well, that was weird. Want to give your basic family vacation photos the look of a gritty, raw, desaturated historical piece that depicts the violence and horrors of World War II, directed by Steven Spielberg? Well, you're not alone. Back in July of 2019, Lomography successfully launched their Kickstarter campaign to bring us the first new color negative film in over five years. And me personally, I'm down for it, especially since the look of it has been described as akin to a bleach bypass. In fact, I was so excited about it, I reached out to the homies at Lomography and they sent me two rolls of 35mm to test out. So here we are. After the two rolls arrived via Carrier Iguana, I decided to dive ass first into some research on the film. And by research, I mean look at pretty pictures that other people have taken with it. Now, Lomography says Metropolis can be rated anywhere from 100 to 400 ISO, which is great if you like variable ISO. But me, I struggle with indecision. Like how for Valentine's Day, I struggled with the decision to buy Monica flowers or nothing at all. I'm not really a fan of the shoot it between these ISOs that some companies do. I guess I'm a simple man. Give me an ISO and let me decide if I wanna f it up or not. There isn't a DX code on the cartridge either, so it's truly up to you. So after reading a few articles on this film, I decided that the best ISO to shoot at would be 400 because Lomography claims that the darks on this film are simply epic. I also thought the muted colors that this film offers would work better with more contrast as well. So I called up the homie Caleb and said, yo pimp, Let's go shoot an indistinct nearby metropolitan area. So we headed to downtown Los Angeles, AKA the tightest city on the planet, AKA the only city where you can sit in an hour of standstill traffic because someone's taken a dump off of a highway overpass. I shot with my Canon AE-1 and my Takamar 35 mm F2. just say first up the packaging on this film is pretty dope the highlighter look is fresh it's hip it's sexy it's unassuming it's non-judgmental and most importantly it's cheaper than therapy All my fellow nerds out there may recognize the name Metropolis because the film seems to be derived from the fictional city that Gandalf lives in, in the hit musical Die Hard. Lomochrome Metropolis is a C41 color negative film that Lomography claims is a brand new formula, something 
kind of interesting about this film. Uh, when I got my film back after it was developed, the film strip itself had kind of a greenish base color, whereas a lot of Kodak films have sort of an orangish base color. Doesn't really mean anything. I just thought it was worth noting. Also, Metropolis isn't imprinted with any technical information along the sides of the film where the sprocket holes are, at least in 35 millimeter. So yeah, if you're one of those people that scans with the film border, it's just going to be all black because there's no key code information. If you're like me and you scan with an Epson scanner, uh, since there's no key code information, it can be a little challenging sometimes getting the film facing the right side up when you're setting it in the tray. Certainly not the end of the world, I just thought it was worth mentioning. to the Bradbury building, which only allows cell phone photography inside, but uh, at the risk of getting arrested, thrown in some Alabama slammer, and waking up married to some six foot two jacked guy named Surprise Sausage Steve, I got this photo. This film is available in 35 millimeter, 120, and a wild card format, 110. And if you're like, what the hell is 110, and why should I give a damn? I'm right there with you. Metropolis is also available in 8mm and 16mm for all you Hollywood types out there making movies. Hell, the only format missing from this lineup is large format, which would be super cool. Hintity, hint, hint, hint. Lomography, I know you're watching. Wait for the cars to move. This film is daylight balanced, so if you shoot it under artificial lighting, your photos may not turn out exactly how you imagined, like how I shot these photos at Grand Central Market and the colors kind of look like tungsten lit butthole, in my opinion. But let's not rule out the fact that I'm a shitty photographer and you can probably do a lot better than me. In fact, you can do anything. Today is your day. Be the best you that you can be. Unless you're a serial killer, then maybe you should focus on not killing people and maybe take up a hobby like collecting Beanie Babies or some sh**. There's definitely a fine green cast to this film, like Metropolis is trying to tell us that we're living in the Matrix or something. Lomography also touts a very fine grain structure on this film. Yeah, there's definitely grain, and by fine, I think they mean fine in the same sense my girlfriend means it when she says, it's fine you didn't buy me flowers for Valentine's Day, which really means it's not fine. I think what I'm trying to say is there's definitely a bit of grain to this film, at least when shot at 400. I think if you shot at 200 or 100, you'd be better off for sure.
So if you're still going through that dark and edgy phase from high school, then this may be the film for you as it definitely utilizes the desaturated and high contrast look. There's a good amount of latitude and while personally I'm not a fan, there is flexibility in the ISO range. Would I shoot Metropolis again? Do squids piss ink? Yeah, I'll definitely be shooting it again. I feel like a lot of color negative films have sort of a warmer undertone, whereas Metropolis actually delivers a more cold, crushing Soviet kind of look. Ultimately, I'm super happy that Lomography has done the seemingly impossible and given us a new color negative film. I hope that we get to see this trend continue with Lomography and hopefully they inspire other companies to do the same. Looking at you, Fuji. It's about time we bring back Natura 1600, don't you think? is not right.